Hello and welcome to Optic Straits YouTube channel. Today we'll be reviewing a binocular made by Meopta. So this is the Meostar B1 10x42 HD. Meopta is a company from Czech Republic with a long tradition in the manufacturing of optics. They don't manufacture sports optics only, but also medical and scientific instruments, digital cinematic projectors and so on. The B1 Meostar name goes all the way back to 2005 when it was first introduced and many models from the Meostar B1 series are available for purchase even today. But this is the HD model, so the B1 Meostar HD which was released later. The, this particular model here was the first one of the series and it dates back to around somewhere at the end of 2012 and at the start of 2013. As I said, it was the first model that was introduced and later Meopta added the 12 by 50 and the 15 by 56. And quite soon after the release of this model, it already earned some awards because of its great optical quality, including the Editor's Choice Award from the Outdoor Life magazine. And I have to say, even before starting this review, that quality-wise, this binocular can easily be put side by side with I don't know, Zeiss Conquest, Conquest HD 10x42. It's great in quality. Let's start with some basic features. So the first one definitely is that this is made in Czech Republic in Meoptas factory. It is 14 centimeters long, 13 centimeters wide when fully extended. What I immediately notice when I hold these binoculars in my hands is that it's, they're quite heavy they weigh around 900 grams which is heavier than other binoculars of the similar kind. Um, other binoculars with a 10 by 42 configuration weigh, I don't know, 150 to 200 gram, uh, grams less which is a noticeable difference. Uh, the binoculars are made from aluminum and they're ergonomically designed so the housing is rubberized which is good uh, because it adds to the durability you can even if you uh, hit them against something they will not break uh, they are really sturdy um, and you even get have these dots here so that when you hold the binoculars uh, you have a better grip for a more comfortable observation and the color that Meopta chose for this binocular is dark green these are also waterproof and can be submerged into water. Uh, they also fare well against snow and rain. They're also shock resistant and the rubber armoring aids in this so they won't break easily. The design is perhaps a little bit old-fashioned. Um, we have to keep in mind that this binocular was introduced late 2012 which is almost eight years ago so um, it is a little bit old-fashioned for the contemporary trends, but still uh, very, very, uh, very, very, um, I would say, it can compete, could compete against other binoculars of this type easily. So, they're filled with nitrogen, of course, which prevents internal condensation. This is useful, uh, especially when the binoculars are exposed to low temperatures. The, the interpopulary distance is from 55 to 74 millimeters. And inside you find you will find roof prisms of the Schmidt packing type. This model, as I said at the beginning of this review, is equipped with HD glass. So this is fluoride glass. You can also purchase Me Meostar B1 models without it. But with the ones that have it, the chromatic aberration is minimized. And as a result, you get a sharper, uh, sharper image with better quality uh, as with standard glass and they also tend to produce more natural colors. Now my co-workers and I tried, tried this binocular many times when we had it in our warehouse and we were always extremely pleased with its optical performance. So everything, the resolution, contrast, edge to edge clarity, everything is really great and optically these are really on a very high level. And for a better light transmission rate, Meopta used the anti-reflective multi-coating called Meobrite and also Meoshield which is applied to external surfaces of the lenses to protect them from abrasion and accumulation of dust and dirt. 
I have to also mention that focusing works really well. You can adjust it accurately um, on any distance. The diopter is here at the end uh, of the focusing knob and I think that this solution is great. If you have it on the right ocular as most binoculars do, you can hit it against something and the diopter setting will move which means that you have to adjust it all over again. This doesn't happen that often but it can occur but by moving it here at the end of the focusing knob uh, it's basically um, in a safe position, safe location so that you can't uh, move it by hitting it somewhere. It is also interesting that it produces clicks so you have an even better feel when you're setting it. It's the little things that count. And uh, setting it is also simple during observation. You just hold it like this and use your index finger or your middle finger to set the diopter. What we have here is foldable eye cups. So um, they can, the, the binoculars can also be used by glasses wearers. There could be more positions. Really there are only two and uh, some other binoculars in this price class have more, three or four or even five. Uh, but what I have to mention is that these eye cups, even though there are only two positions, are really comfortable to use and the eye rests comfortably once observing. They have a decent field of view at 110 meters on 1000 meters and at 10 times magnification these are great for plenty of applications. They can be used for hunting for example if you want detailed images of the game and don't care that much about the field of view. It can, it can also be used by for bird watchers. It is a bit heavy for hiking and traveling but some might use it for that as well. So the HD version of Meostar B1 is not available in the 8x42 configuration. In this series, only this model, the 12x50 and the 15x56 are available at the moment. I like the Deluxe for the installation of the strap do not protrude out of the housing. Um, this is a problem with most binoculars. The, these parts usually protrude out of the housing and then you can always hit them or s the binoculars can easily get stuck uh, when you, I don't know, hit them against the door or something and even when the, uh, you have them connected with the strap you can uh, it's even more problematic but um, Meopta chose this indentation here for the design and uh, the solution that they use uh, is a very clever one so the outermost part of the lug is flush with the outermost part of the housing and they're nicely hidden inside when you look from this direction the binocular comes with both ocular and objective lens, uh, covers, they're both made of rubber. So the ocular part, uh, the ocular uh, cover is standard, we see this type of cover on many binoculars. While the solution that Meopta uses for the objective covering is not that common. So this is how it works. An interesting design, some will love it, some will hate it. But uh, now that the cover is installed, like so, it will dangle around. So these covers will dangle around if you want to use the binocular for observing, which might be bothering in some situations. But on the other hand, you will not lose the objective covers this way, since they are wired to here. They are basically wired to the underside of the cap here, which can be removed like so. And the cap, as you can see, it covers the thread for mounting the binocular on a tripod. But it also holds the objective covers in place once screwed in. So if you don't like this approach, this design, you can just simply screw the, this cap back in place and you use the objective covers just like this, just by covering it. Or not at all. It's, depending how you want it, to use it. The price for these binoculars is still around 1050 euros and the warranty that comes is 10 years as standard and you, if you register on Meopta's page it can be prolonged to 
30 years. Um, so if a manufacturer offers such a long warranty period, such as with this product, you can rest assured that you're buying a quality product. So what you get in the box is are these covers, as I already mentioned, this fashionable bag with a nice system for opening and closing. You just rotate this and open. So a great place to store your binoculars for transport or when, when you're not using them. You also get a carrying strap a Maopta lens cloth and inside here you get the warranty cards 10 years 30 years and also here you have the instruction a short instruction manual available in multiple languages everything comes in a really nice box I'll just show it to you so it's too big to be to fit on screen. Uh, actually, a really nice box, and this also counts for when you're buying the binoculars, uh, having a nice box so that you know that you bought a quality product. Okay, now that we've come to the end of this review, it is time to enumerate some strong points and perhaps some weak ones. So. What are the strong points? Definitely the excellent optical quality, the decent field of view, and the construction that is really rigid and robust and feels like it really can withstand a blow. But I would say that one of the most thing, things that I uh, admire most with these binoculars are the, is the optical performance. The cons, so the weak points. For some, it might be too heavy, too bulky, uh, it weighs 900 grams, one, while some of the competition weighs around six, 700, which is 200 grams, grams less. And perhaps some might complain over its old-fashioned, outdated design. Another thing that I m uh, must point out here is that it only has two positions, so the, the eyepieces can only be fixed in two positions, while some of the competition offers more in this price class. To sum up, this is a great buy for someone who wants great optics and is willing to spend around 1000 euros for a binocular. And in terms of optical quality and robustness, these are not much different from binoculars priced even 500 euros higher. If you found this review useful, hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any additional questions regarding this model, leave a comment down in the comment section. You can also check out our other videos. See you next time. Goodbye.